Previously on Alan Wake. Bobbing and weaving. Look at the weave. Look at the weave. He doesn't even need to bob. It's just all weaving. Look at that. Oh shit, is that a train? It's a train. Oh to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. Well, welcome to episode four, bitches. Just want to say that there's probably going to be a lot of dialogue at the start, so uh, just sit back, relax, and I will talk to you all in a little bit. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Well, that's not cool. It's like in a mental institution of some sort. I just want to say thank you guys for uh, sticking with it. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. I'm gonna deck that big guy in the face. Look at him! Alright. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. you go this way, Alan. Up. <laughs> I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? 
You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Well, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of dialogue in the start, apparently, so, uh... I do apologize, so I'll try to make this part extra long, so please give it a like. Maybe this will be a 20 or 25 minute part for you. <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Oh shit. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. The darkness Alan, is about what to come I'm break telling us off. you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Heitman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. <laughs> what the hell? There's a big guy again. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. <laughs> Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> this dude is freaky. Look at him. Yeah, that's right. Emerson. I got you. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 well, shit. La, la, Kung Fu la, Master over here is gonna... La, la, Probably appear in a nightmare later on. Come on, this way. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I just want to dick this dude in the face so hard. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Let's see here. Look at those bear statues. They're sick. Wait, what was that? Why does this dude feel like... I just feel like he's trying to brainwash me for some reason. Just to let you all know, I am sitting on a yoga ball as I play this game for better back support. Actually, not better back support. Just, uh... I don't know. I do these episodes in one sitting, so, uh... Yeah. Let's do this. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. 
I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Hey, Sinclair, oh, Dr. Hartman was worried about the power again. He's checking on it now. I just wish I could deck that dude in the face. Overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here Something's later on. Wrong. What the hell? I'm not myself. It's Is hard. that a bear? There's a shadow well, inside my head. Oh, he's a mat. Let me I just stand over for a second. Writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. If you're confused, that's hey. good because I am too. Huh? Typewriter's in your room. I think Who I've made that? a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving that? Alice. It's been lying nice to me, springs. using me to get the story at once. Huh. The story will come true. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Okay. Oh, 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 afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now! Are we? Well, oh, pick up manuscript. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. All right, let's go check this racket out, shall we? It's my store. I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's Tom goons, she had not come. Destiny. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been come keeping them. Come and face the music, Perch. That's why he was spitting all that stuff back at me, trying to confuse me. I'm break out of this bitch. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split! Save Barry. Hope this is him. Seriously! Do you have Barry? any idea? Ow! About time! <laughs> Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they... 
Those beautiful These manuscripts. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Fucking A. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Fucking A, let's escape this bitch. Ah! Salvation! 